Welcome one and all fellow fans of Clash of Clans. I am so excited to bring you today's video. That is right, in game we've got Galadon's Golem Gauntlet. Can you believe it? It is true. There it is right there with a the big giant creator code symbol. I have created a challenge for you, my fellow Clasher, to attempt to defeat. And okay, it shouldn't be that hard. This is actually my first live attempt at it since I designed it. And what I'm going to do is kind of walk you through the way I defeat it and of course say thank you guys so much. If you weren't subscribing to the channel, if you weren't watching the live streams, then this never would have happened. Nearly nine years of content creating and here we are, Galadon's Golem Gauntlet in the game. Of course, thank you guys for those of you that are subscribed to the channel. If you get a chance, turn on notifications, leave a like, maybe even a comment for the YouTube algorithm and uh, let me get into this. So this first attempt, I will tell you, was, was not quite a success. And this was generally the idea. The idea was this should be hard enough that it'll be a challenge, but easy enough that most everybody can complete it. And if you would really like to see a slightly more in-depth look into the creation of Galadon's Golem Gauntlet and what went into putting this together, then please do come back and watch tomorrow's YouTube video where I will go into more depth about the design and the thought behind everything on it and how, well, it's a lot harder to make a challenge level than I realized. So yes, I have a newfound appreciation for the Clash dev team and all of the hours they put into not only creating the challenge levels, but the actual game itself. So much comes down to the balance, right? And that is true for the entire game. Every single town hall level, every single troop, every single spell and defense needs to be balanced so that it fits in with everything else. And there's got to be this balance between spam and strategy, and that is what I tried to bring you guys here. So again, check out that video tomorrow. In the meantime, this was my first attempt at taking this down since I had put it together, and it was a pretty long process, so I hadn't had a chance to see it in its final form. And it does look amazing, by the way. I love the scenery. I think the scenery may be one of the best ever, and now is such a great opportunity to actually use Code Galadon if you're going to buy gems or buy the scenery or anytime you make a purchase in any Supercell game. Make sure that little C is checked and you are supporting some content creator. Now, it doesn't have to be me. My favorite code is Galadon, but remember, there are tons of hardworking content creators out there, and it's harder than you might think to put out content on a daily basis, and I do my best if I'm in town to bring you guys daily live streams or YouTube videos or both. So, okay, here is the first fail, and yes, so this is great. I'm actually happy that I failed because I didn't want this to be a walk all over it, steamroll this challenge type of thing. And again, I'll talk more about that tomorrow. Let's get into actually how to beat it right now. Now, of course, there's going to be many ways to defeat it, and that is by design, but this is the way I beat the level, and this is the way I kind of thought it out when I designed it. On the left-hand side, freeze it right there. You can see I dropped the queen, and all of the skeleton traps in the area are going to activate. You're going to need the poison spell right there, and then the archer queen should be able to wipe out the scatter shot. The poison takes out the skeletons, and then she's going to move on. Now, as soon as she's just about done, we want to put down a golem right there next to the barbarian king. He is going to tank for the barb king. Now, there are other ways again to do this. This is the way I did it. Then the archer queen rolls in. Then you drop a couple of headhunters on the left to take out the two barbarian kings. Okay, so left side handled. On the right hand side, I went with the royal champion. There's a bunch of giant bombs over there, but they're not going to be that much of an issue for the royal champion. And then freeze it at the bottom of the base. Check it out. There are so many tornado traps surrounding those eagle artilleries. I know it's an expensive way, but if you use your three super wizards, you can trigger every single tornado trap before you send in the golems, the super bowlers, and the regular bowlers from the bottom. So pretty much spamming most everybody else except for the siege machine at the bottom. We're going to freeze it and take a look. Notice the left-hand side kind of funneled by the archer queen, the right-hand side kind of funneled by the royal champion. So yes, there is elementary funneling going on, and then right up the middle goes everybody, and then it comes down to, you guessed it, spell timing and placement. 
Out of the clan castle as we freeze it comes the Electro Dragon. That was because there is an E-Dragon on the scenery as well. Poison spell for the Electro Dragon. And now as everybody moves up, you're going to deal with the gauntlet portion of the scenery. All of those single target infernos are of course a golem's worst nightmare, but take a look at the scatter shots surrounded by the four single target infernos. Those are of course perfectly frozen by one spell, but it comes down to placement and timing. You gotta get that right. Now I blew it and accidentally dropped an invisibility spell there. Then I dropped the freeze and that's where it's supposed to go. Also notice I've started using the rage spells as the units move up. They're almost always going to be all in that one rage spell. So use those as you move up through the center. You've got a ton of freeze spells. So make sure you use them to freeze the town hall and the single target infernos as you need. And then get ready the warden ability, of course, as the town hall goes down. This is called Galadon's Golem Gauntlet because the idea is there's this gauntlet right in the middle that you just can't avoid. You've got to go through it with your golems. They are going to make it, use your spells, and then get ready for the Stone Slammer right there. Okay, see where I put the Stone Slammer? If you look at those Expos, this is easy. This is a big hint right here. Four of those six Expos, the four on the left, are pointed to the ground only. So the idea is bring in the Stone Slammer from the left but make sure you drop it a little early so that the ground expos are going to get wiped out and the air expos are not going to take it down. We're almost done. You're using your freezes and your invis right as we get through that town hall and on those last single target infernos, the Teslas, maybe the expos, the barbarian kings even, and well, yes. Okay, if you do this attack right, it's going to be easy and there are going to be many, many players who can crush it using only a fraction of the spells, a fraction of the troops, and that is the idea. The challenge has to be hard enough that the average non-YouTube watching player can beat it, but it has to be easy enough that the pros, the really good players, the players who love to do this type of thing, they can get in there and challenge themselves by using, you know, no spells or half the troops or no heroes, whatever the case may be. I'm hoping that we see a lot of different outcomes. When you do it right or you're careful in this attack, you're going to crush it. Yet, I also would rather players not just be able to spam everything in one spot and win. Although that does happen, it's almost unavoidable. It's hard to strike that balance between strategy and spam. I hope that I have sort of here and I hope that you guys have fun beating the challenge. I had so much fun making it. I hope that you guys come back and check out tomorrow's video on the making of Galadon's Golem Gauntlet. And I just wanted to say one more time, thank you one and all for helping me get here. I never imagined the first day that I uploaded a YouTube video that this would become my career for the next 10 years, but here we are almost in year number 10. Thank you sincerely again, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. Now get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more Galadon's Golem Gauntlet. Thank you for the shout out. I saw you put a gym box in the base. Good idea!